Hey everyone, it's Aware One here. Hope you're all doing well tonight, this evening out here in California. I don't know where, what time it is where you are at, but it's the night time here. I wanted to get on here today and discuss a few projects that I think are like really good long, like even long, long term holds. Like I don't know what's going to happen in this cryptocurrency space and the whole world and all these different things over the next five or ten years. But I'm trying to find projects that might actually have a, a, a specific unique use case that might actually be able to extend that whole time and, and withstand that. So I'm going to try and cover a couple of those projects. I've talked about some of these before. And uh, maybe I'll go over some other couple of projects that are going to be potentially listed on Coinbase. But the first project, well, I'm going to go over here. And I'm not going to talk about two of the main ones, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Again, right now, those are the two. Bitcoin, especially for payments and, and just money holding Ethereum, because of the Ethereum platform and its ERC-20 tokens and, and the growing DeFi space, which is mainly built on Ethereum at this point in time, those are going to be really good holds for now, for at least the foreseeable future. What happens in the in the long-term future as far as like with Ethereum and the DeFi platform, who knows, because <clears throat> there could be other platforms that come out, and if they're interoperable, platforms may be able to switch in between these different platforms so the platform itself might not be the most important thing after a few years if there's this great interoperability type thing that comes along so it's going to be hard to tell i think for those types of platforms but overall i think for the next few, five years at least those two bitcoin and ethereum are probably going to be two of the big main competitors or big top dogs amongst the field but there are some other competitors EOS, EOS is big over in China, especially the CCID just released their newest, or recently released their newest rankings. And again, EOS comes out on top. It doesn't get a lot of play over here in the U.S. And a lot of people in the U.S. don't like it necessarily. A lot of the, there's some aspects of centralization that some people feel about it. And I think that uh, is a takeaway for some Americans. But because of its ranking over in China, and there's a lot of projects over the, in that culture building on it. I think it'll be big, at least for that one. So, good long-term, we'll all know. But a lot of good things are coming out of EOS. And I'll talk about a little bit about that again later. But yeah, one that I think a lot of people have been paying attention about and know about. There's a lot of FUD coming out recently. But Chainlink, which is on Ethereum, who knows what happens in the future with if it comes out with its own platform or whatnot. But the reason I say Chainlink is because... Every day now, it seems like there's another project being like, oh, we're being supported by Chainlink. Or we made a partnership with Chainlink and all this stuff. All these are, and that's like, oh, that's the mark of like, you're legit now because you've gotten a partnership with Chainlink. And really, Chainlink's an oracle that's going to pull data, possibly pi price data or anything that's related to your token into a, a bigger oracle space that allows it to feed that information out to whoever might need it. So obviously, they're going to want a partnership with everybody, right? As much data things as possible that's their goal so like while everybody's like yeah we got a partnership with Chainlink I, I think that we need to focus on the fact that Chainlink is partnering with everybody and because of that is becoming essential a very it's like first mover advantage like Ethereum was the first mover as far as um, platforms and smart contracts even though there's ones now that are smart contracts and maybe faster than Ethereum, it was first mover, so it's got a lot of the play and a lot of the attention and money now. Chainlink is first mover when it comes to Oracle. And while there are other good Oracle choices out there, Chainlink seems to be the best, and it'll be a very long-term thing because it's even getting integrated with Wall Street type things and stuff like that. It's an Oracle data provider, secured, blockchain-based, and that, that'll eventually, as blockchain becomes more integrated in the overall society, Things like Chainlink will be able to spread out, spread its wings and integrate more with the wider society and, and data streams as well. So that's one I think Chainlink is a good, like Chainlink could go to a thousand. That's not financial advice, but I'm like, there's some meme magic going behind this one. So keep your eye on Chainlink. And again, first time I logged on and I looked at Ethereum on Coinbase, it was $12. And it got over a thousand. It got to 1500 Again, yeah, I know the total supply is different and whatnot, but... So is the, the, the future market cap of the whole crypto space if we get a big rush of money. So keep it on that. The next one, Energy Web Token, which has been pumped up lately because of uh, Chico Crypto. Man, 
Yeah, go back to where we could get it at five bucks, right? Or even back here when it was like a buck fifty or yeah. Anyways, Energy Web Token again. This one back, but look at some of Chico Crypto's videos backed by Elon Musk, and there's some big name players in the whole like global energy sector involved in holding tokens in this place, and it's gonna kind of imagine a global exchange energy exchange where you can buy solar from solar energy generated from anywhere in the, anywhere potentially in the world maybe from africa and have the that energy kind of be directed to your house even if it's pg&e provided you know here where i live in california it's kind of i bought it from them and pg&e is just kind of bringing or a lot providing the um, infrastructure to to direct the electricity to my house but anyways that gets into the whole thing, and I think the whole infrastructure is going to be changing as we go here in the future. But Energy Web Token, I think it's just one of those long term, slowly over the years, growing and growing and growing because it, it has a use case specific to what's needed in the world, and it's got some big name players. <clears throat> I know there's other projects out there like Power Token, PWR, and Electrify Asia, and stuff like that, but Energy Web Token, it's already got a lot of hype behind it, a lot of people are starting to chatter about it. Got some big name players in it, including Elon Musk. So, Energy Web Token, long term, long term hold in my opinion, and like it, it's gonna, it has a future use case that's needed. So, it's not just about blockchain and, and sending money hype. All right. Another one, one of my favorite projects is Theta. Again, they, I think one day I keep saying it, like you're gonna have things like football or basketball and baseball games broadcast on theater they already got a partnership with nasa um, world poker tournaments mgm studios is playing some of their old movies on theater right now so in the future so right now all the theaters are locked down right because of covid in the future what if something like this happens again or like something where we can't really go outside for an extended period of time and they need to show movies. Like Disney is already having a problem. How are they going to show their newest movies and stuff like that? Imagine them being able to broadcast movies on Theta and kind of be, being able to charge people on that or like streaming different programs on Theta. Like global things that need to be spread. Even governments, emergency broadcast systems, all these type of things can be streamed along Theta because it's going to be this global network that's just slowly integrating into Samsung products and like Playstations and all these different things. And it's going to be its own blockchain. So what if it, it is the thing that morphs into like a global computer, like streaming side of computer and video networks? Like it becomes this global thing that's piggybacks on everybody's devices and everybody's bandwidth to help support the whole thing. And again, it's its own blockchain. And what I like about it is there's different mechanisms to it. Again, the total supply that's fixed for Theta is $1 billion. And then this Theta field which you earn for staking, which that that the supply of that will increase, and that's what can be transacted on the platform between like viewers and people that are live streaming, and how you get rewards for for staking your, or for sh sharing your bandwidth and staking your total tokens and stuff like that. So, the the value of the Theta token specifically, again, it's fixed at one billion, and if if this if this amps up and do a global thing in a few years, long term, again, five or ten years. It, and there's only a billion of them. We're talking about everybody on the planet, kind of, not everybody, even 20%, 30% of the planet involved in this thing. It's going to be huge. And I think it's going to be more than 20, 30% of people on the planet, if you know what I'm saying. So, Theta, keep your eye on it. Long term plan, long term hold here. <clears throat> the next one, it's a Masternode project. And I, I don't know, the, nothing Masternode is to this point has been too long term. So, but because of some of their tokenomics and how they've set up their, their, their masternode structure, it's really gamified, at least in the short long term. I think Divi's got big things ahead of it. And again, it's already integrated with WhatsApp, owned by Facebook. You can, people in other countries can buy Divi and stake it on WhatsApp. You got things like the Facebook Libra project renaming their wallet to, and thing to Navi after they partnership with Divi. There's just different things. Again, you can earn passive income in the future by staking Divi. You get enough of them, you get 100,000 of them, you can do a Divi Masternode, earn like that. 
as far as the master node projects out there that I've seen, the ease of access, especially the one click master nodes, it's the top and of ease of access, open use, wide availability. And it's starting to, to spread out, and it didn't start on any big exchanges. It hasn't sold it sold to Binance or any of those things. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know how long term this one is. Again, the master node game is a tricky one, but because of the gamification and stuff like that. And I'm more like a hundred. If this thing goes up in price, like what if it ever does become a dollar? Hundred thousand divi node isn't exactly easy for the small small pocket person, you know. So maybe they'll and and you can stick it in the wallet outside of the master node, which you know it's one way to earn too. But yeah, check out divi. Look at look into it. Look at some of the videos and information and look at that one. <clears throat> the next one is ultra, and I've covered this before. And again, I, I was going to talk about this earlier offshoot of EOS. And what, like, EOS is going to be good and big, but I think because of, like, the issues that people have with centralization and because it's, a, like, a kind of like a piece of software that people can copy, like, projects like Ultra and Wax, I'm not going to talk about it, but Wax is another good one. They can kind of take the EOS um, software, EOS IO software, and they they have they're they're twerking and making it fit their unique business model, and it's really good software, but it does not need the EOS token to survive. And that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of these big good use cases that are going to benefit from the type of EOS software, don't necessarily need to be built on EOS, and might benefit better from not being built on EOS with the controversy that comes from that. Who knows? I'm not saying. Like I, EOS has been one of my favorite projects since I first started got into crypto. This is actually an EOS shirt I got from one of the vendors at one of the events I went to. But Ultra, again, it's a gaming platform. It's a game maker. Uh, Ubisoft is going to be releasing all their future games on Ultra and uh, be requiring UOS to pay for it. Even if it's on the back end, somebody tries to buy with dollars. It comes in. Dollars are purchased or UOS token, they're gonna to be purchased with dollars and then switches over. And, and there's also some like I think you, you, Ubisoft is gonna be releasing their own game that's very similar to the Fortnite type game, but it's their own version, obviously. And it's, I think it's, it has something to do with planets and stuff. I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. But again, it's a Ubisoft game in the future. I wonder if that's gonna be integrated with uh, with UOS here. And again, AMD is really moving in the, the big blockchain space. And it's doing better than Intel as far as the company AMD is outperforming Intel because Intel is running into some road bumps or speed bumps, road bumps. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, AMD backing Ultra partnered is I think they're running a, a node. And Ubisoft going to be releasing all their games on Ultra. Again, this is outside of blockchain. Not just strictly a payments, global payment token. This has a use case that a companies, established companies are backing and putting forth. So yeah, in five or ten years, this could still be big. What if in five or ten years, Ubisoft has expanded, partnered with Activision or something like that. Uh, Activision will probably release their own token. but And it's a potential to see this coin a lot worth a lot more. That's not investment advice. That's my opinion. And again... Long-term views. So those are the main ones I wanted to talk about talk about right now. Moving forward, I also wanted... So lately, Coinbase keeps putting out these blogs, being like, this is what we're thinking about listing. This is one of them. We're going to list it. We're looking at these tokens. This is Lend, Aragon, Aave, Aragon, Airweave, Banker, Comp, Digibyte, Horizon, LifePeer, those ones. This one was released on June 10th. Here's another one that was just released on July 31st. This is Ample Fourth Band... Band protocol, balancer, block stack, curve, fetch AI. Eh, it's a teaser, right? And you're like, well, there, there's data I want to talk about. Just talked about. I want to give you guys a little tip on how to maybe figure out what might come next. If you come over here to Coinbase Custody, if it's custody.coinbase.com, or if you want to click on assets, backslash assets. If you come down here, you can search all of them that are in these two pics right here. Just search. And it'll tell you. And so the ones that I found that I wanted to draw your attention to, as they might be getting listed on Coinbase here, which, you know what I'm saying? Right here. 
There's one of them. Band. Band token. As you can see, it's been doing well lately. Look at that. Pew, pew. This might be in anticipation of a future Coinbase listing, at which point it will probably go higher or it could go lower, right? It could go higher or it could, go lower. it could stay the same as well. If it does go significantly higher, expect a pullback. If you miss it on the way up, be patient. Maybe take a day or two or a week off and it might pull back. That's really not investment advice. That's just my opinion. Another one that's on that list, Ocean. If you want to see, where's Ocean? Ocean right there. We come up in here, where's Ocean? I don't know if I've seen it. If you want, you can just right here search all assets. Oh, see. There it is, Ocean Token. And this is Coinbase Custody, which means that they have integrated the software into the system and they'll allow to be have take custody. And this is for even for institutional investors. They can hold institutional investors' money and they're, they're qualified or they, they have integrated Ocean into that ability. So Ocean Token, again, Ocean Brand Protocol. Another one, Fetch AI, right there, Fetch. Who's on this one or the other one? Fetch AI. Hey, there's a lot of good projects. A lot of, they're, they're teasing a lot of these DeFi, like Kava, Melon. They don't put them on there. UMA. That's a that's an interesting one you might want to check out too. It's gone up in price significantly lately. The last one, so yeah, we got Band Protocol, we got Ocean Protocol, Fetch AI, and this that might be a long term one to look at Fetch AI because again, anything AI is gonna be going in the next five, ten, fifteen years, twenty years, it's gonna be a big hot topic. And you got this one and things like Singularity Net, AGI is a token. There might be a really good long-term plays as well, just from playing the AI AI angle. But again, that, that field's going to really be evolving quickly here in the next few years too. So it's going to be hard and slippery to find what the thing that is going to be the thing in the future. And the last one on here, block stack. Right there, block stack. Block stack. This one currently available on mainly on Binance and KuCoin as far as the top, top, Top crypt, uh, exchanges that I might be more familiar with, and like that's a slightly climb up. So yeah, that's not investment advice. I'm just drawing people's attention to the fact that those ones are there. They they are on Coinbase custody. Coinbase has released them in a blog, and they are not yet released on Coinbase. But usually, and in, in recently especially, things that get listed on Coinbase get a nice Coinbase bump as more and more people are coming into it. So keep an eye on those ones, and. Good luck. So yeah, long term holds again. Well, real, real quick, Chainlink, Oracle of Oracles. Everybody's integrated with Chainlink. The Chainlink's integrated with everybody. Too big to fail. Something like that, you know. Energy Web Token under the radar. Geo Cryptos keeps pushing it up, but partnerships with some major energy companies and things like Elon Musk and Tesla company, in integrating their solar panel roofs and stuff like that. Keep an eye. One of my top major favorite, I hope this is, but we'll go, Theta, go. Go, Theta, go. Theta token. It's developing its own blockchain. I think it's going to be very similar to the Neo BDFT. So, yeah. Masternode Project, check out Divi. Good passive income. Hopefully it doesn't drop too much, or hopefully it does, and then I can buy some more. We'll see. And Ultra, good old long-term gaming platform. And another, check, check out Wax and Engine. Those two long-term playing the gaming and, uh, yeah, NFT angle. Check those two out. But again, and then soon to come on, Crypt, on Coinbase, at least already supported by Coinbase Custody. We got BAM Protocol, Ocean Protocol, Fetch AI, and Blockstack. So that's your crypto awareness for today. I hope you all enjoyed. You take care. We'll see the crypto markets moving up. We, even if we drop back down, now we're in a one and a half year bull market, in my opinion. My opinion. And it's going to be fun times ahead. So enjoy. The world's about to be surprised by what happens with uh, cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. And just be aware. Again, it's not about what you do. It's about being aware of what you do. Because with awareness comes choice and change.
You guys have a good one.